serious about the promise that he made to Abraham and anybody that is trying to prevent that promise from happening, um, they will be cut off from the nation of Israel. Um, giving us some understanding that the Lord don't, uh, he's not behind any kind of form of birth. Then came And um, the brother uh, found out that that was it for his, his that's his, his time in Israel is over. No, he had no idea. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. How he had no idea. He had no idea. You know, he cried. He, you know, he cried like he saw, looking for a way out, man. <laughs> like, what can I do, sir? Like, what, you wounded in the stones, brother. Like, what, what can you do? Do everybody understand that? Uh-huh. Women can also have a procedure where they um, do things for themselves to uh, prevent themselves from getting pregnant. And the same principles apply um, when you know this truth, not if you came to the truth and that stuff was already done, but if you know the truth and you go ahead and you deliberately do those things, okay? And I'm going to hit you with something. You got the operation and it's also the birth control method is still the pill. It's just as bad as the operation. Whatever you do to try to prevent yourself from getting pregnant, um, um, that's the, that's the, um, you know, the Lord is not with that. Do everybody understand it? Right. Everybody got that? Right. Read it again. He that is wounded in the stone. Come on. Or have his privy member cut off. Or have his privy member cut off. Okay, that's still the secret member, the private member, um, cut off. Um, and the Gentiles was doing that. They was cutting off their private members and, uh, you know, having them for hot dogs or something like that. Now you're acting like this is strange, okay? Yeah. You, got, uh, uh, they, uh, you got people that take the animals and they, they cut their private member off and, and put it in the soup, okay? No? Yeah. You think that's the, the hedonistic stuff come from, okay? What is it called? Cow cod? Or what? What? I think I don't know about it, yeah. You just got the cow cod floating in the damn bowl of broth, yeah. Well, the Gentiles was known for cutting off their private parts, okay, just for fun, brother. You know, serve up some hot dogs. And, and Bangkok um, is the norm for uh, a secret part to fly out the window to the ducks. That's known in Bangkok. Look it up. Okay. Men go to sleep and their wife take a kitchen knife. <laughs> it's the truth. And throw it right to the ducks. Um, there was another case of a, uh, some dumb nigga, a nigga dumb as hell. <laughs> some of y'all look like y'all uncomfortable with this Bible. Dude. What's the matter with y'all? y'all <laughs> you got a problem with the word of the Lord? <laughs> well, the Lord talking about it, so we got to talk about it. That's why I made sure I came in here to make sure this was talked about right. Okay? Okay. But we got to talk about it. Okay? It was some dumb nigga. He was, a, he was some, some failed rapper, okay, from the Wooten Tang clan. And this was just last year. <laughs> it ain't even been a year, but it was, it was in 2014. This nigga said sex is for uh, mortals, and he's a god. Okay, so he took a, he took a steak knife and cut his genitals off. Then jumped off the balcony because he was high on PCP. But <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't come into the truth. <laughs> Everybody understand that? Um, so you don't do that. You don't cut your your privates off. Okay. Um, you got another movement that that do these things. You got some 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 demonic individuals walking around. Um, they call themselves transsexuals. Okay, they willingly go and, and, and uh, cut off their private. Right? Uh-huh. Walking around with a strong jaw like that. <laughs> like, we see your jaw, okay? You ain't fooling nobody, all right? <laughs> trannies, they call them trannies. Huh? Like, that confused the kids. Grannies, trannies. <laughs> <laughs> like the 
the damn wolf trying to damn disguise themselves as grandma. I don't know. <laughs> hey, what big teeth you have, a damn st a strong jaw. <laughs> in this demonic, wicked world that we live in, I mean, this is unimaginable to any normal person, okay? To just take a steak knife to your genitals. <laughs> But you got so many demons running around, and, and they try to act like this is normal, you know? Go, go and um, have a sex reassignment surgery. You know, get your sex reassigned. Everybody understand that? Uh, what is God saying? Read it again. He that is wounded in the stone. He that is what? Wounded in the stone. Read on. Or have his privy member cut off. Read on. Shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. They're not coming into the congregation of the Lord. That means they cannot be among the nation of Israel. Do everybody understand that? Uh, everybody got that? Uh, um, the nation of Israel as a whole, um, they shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Let's go from there to get the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 28. First Chronicles chapter 28. So all these birth control situations, um, you make sure you bring those situations to counsel, um, and you hear what the Lord have to say about whatever your circumstances happen to be. Um, question these uh, 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 C-section procedures, uh, those surgeries that uh, these uh, uh, doctors are quick to give you. Um, when you can have natural births, start looking for other alternatives. Um, if you got a doctor that's not supportive and that's not um, that looks like they always want to. Uh, know to go about things their way rather than the way that you would like things to be done always get second opinions do everybody understand that uh -huh. don't just be complacent just don't let this is that's your body that's your health don't just let anybody tell you anything okay especially when it's against what you believe okay you got to do the, du the due diligence because you're going to end up in a situation where you're getting c-section after c-section after c-section after c-section where you're going to end up in a serious um you're going to have a serious problem and then come to find out that you ain't even need all those C-sections. You probably ain't even need the first one. So you got to make sure that, you know, you're taking um, charge of your own health. Um, you ask questions. You don't let nobody make you feel funny about asking questions. You, you don't make nobody feel funny um, if you're doubting what they're telling you or you don't, make them, you don't allow them to make you feel funny if you're doubting what they're telling you um, and look for proof and take that proof to somebody else and see if you get the same um, answers and different things of that nature because this is how important it is. Do everybody understand it? Right. Everybody got that? Right. Let's go to First Chronicles chapter 28, verse 8. And read that. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, read on. the congregation of the Lord. So when it says not enter into the congregation of the Lord, I want, to be, I want it to be clear what the congregation of the Lord is talking about. It's talking about the whole nation of Israel. You can't come among Israel at all. Do everybody understand that? Read that one more time. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, read on the congregation of the Lord. Read on. And in the audience of our God. Read on. Keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God. Read on. That ye may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. Okay, so this precept gives us an understanding on what God means when it says they should not enter into the congregation. He's saying that they can't come among the nation of Israel as a whole at all. Do everybody understand that? Right. Everybody got that? Right. So if you're guilty of these things and, and you cut off the process of uh, not being able to bring forth that seed to fulfill that promise that was made to Abraham, um, then the Lord has instructed um, for you not to be among the congregation. Do everybody understand that? Okay, read on. Let's go from there, and let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 23. Deuteronomy chapter 23. Read it. Verse 1. Come on. He that is wounded in the stone. Come on. Or have his privy member cut off. Okay, so if you're wounded in some kind of way where you are not able to uh, 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 get a woman um, pregnant, um, because of you wounded, okay? I don't want nobody to get nervous if you got a low sperm count and all that other stuff. And you, you, you've been trying for years and nobody got pregnant. That ain't down me, you're getting put out. Do everybody understand that? But you got to be wounded, okay? You gotta, they had to have something. There was a wound. Something happened. Everybody understand that? Like the brother that came to council ain't had no stones. Like, <laughs> there's nothing, I could, there was nothing we could do for the brother. You understand that? Okay, read on. Shout not! Enter into the congregation of the Lord. You can't be among Israel. Read on. A 
bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. A bastard. What does a bastard mean? Not a child of God. Huh? 